Hi guys, so today is Wednesday the 13th of July and that is Austin and I's date anniversary thing. We met four years ago today. Um, he took me out on our first date. So right now um, he has planned some special little surprise, I guess. I don't really know. I was just told to get dressed, bring an extra like nicer outfit. We're on our way. So we'll let you guys, um, you'll see just when I see, so. Our first stop is where Austin and I went on our very first date. It's at the, um, it's called Mulligans. It's like a mini golfing arcade type place. It's kind of like a, it's, a, it's an arcade. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a, it's called the Family Fun Center. It's like a thing where people go and like hang out or whatever. That's where we went on our first date. So right now we're gonna go mini golfing there. And then I don't know what else we're doing after that. Finally at the first hole, Haley's lining up her shot. Good luck, Haley, no pressure. So you hit the ball, and it's supposed to bounce here, and go up there, but it never happens. It just rolls back. Now it's Austin's turn to try and get up this one. This is in the bush over there. But what we do is we each get one redo on the hole, on all the holes. So I think it's what, 18 holes? Yeah. Yeah, there's 18 holes. So we each get one redo on one of the holes, because I don't know, that's just our tradition. That's what we've always done. Like bad memories. Made it. This is Haley's success, I guess. She wants, she's addicted. She wants to try it over and over and over again. Look at this addiction. This is why she shouldn't gamble. Haley's holding the camera for me because I have to drive. One quick thing about that very last hole with like the grade on it. So the last time we were playing miniature golf, Haley was pretty much beating me and it was like neck and neck. We were both getting like twos, twos and threes and so on and so forth. And it came to that hole and I, I was like positive that she was gonna beat me. And every single time we played, I pretty much beat her. This was like the one time that I really wanted her to win because she was right there. She had been playing really well. I thought she had it. So we get to this last hole and basically there's like four different grades. 
Well, actually, there's three. So one of them is at the very top, and it's this little small one, and that's the hole in one. And then there's a bigger one that's a little bit lower, and that's the two. Uh, the two. And then it's just like the main section is the three. So I'm like, Haley, you got this. So every stroke, if like you can't get it into the grate because that's the slide underneath, okay. that counts as one stroke. So she hits it, and it bounces off the gate, and it comes back. She hits it again, bounces off the grate, and comes back. She finally hits it one more time and it just it rolled perfectly in, but it was three, so it counted as five. So I was like, okay. Then I got up there and I never do well on this one. I usually just hit it in, but I just had a good shot and it went right in the hole in one. I beat her by two strokes. Anyway. And I still lost today from that from that. Well I think I was losing anyways, then that one I just am really bad at, so I lost again. So Go me. When we went in to buy like our, what is it called? Like our mini golfing pass or whatever, you can see where they have all the prizes for whenever you get your tickets at the arcade and you, and then you like return them for the prize or whatever. So that new movie, The Secret Life of Pets is coming out and it has a wiener dog in it. And if you guys know, like you probably already know, that I'm like obsessed with wiener dogs because I have one and I just love it. In the movie, they have a little black wiener dog and they had the like plush toys of all the little pets so they had the wiener dog one and there was only one and it was a thousand tickets and so i was like awesome we have to get a thousand tickets because i need that wiener dog so we spent probably like 15 dollars getting tickets we played literally one game the same game over and over again and we got 939 tickets and i was like are you kidding me um i'm not spending any more money and there was this guy and this i think it was like his little brother or something that we're like we were kind of chatting with like as we were like playing the games or whatever and i was like awesome we didn't get it and he was like what do you need and we're like we i just want that wiener dog and i need like 50 something tickets and he was like i got you and he handed us a like a ticket thing for 89 tickets and i'm like are you kidding me like thank you so much i was so excited so we went and we got the little wiener dog toy do you see it it's so cute i'm like obsessed with it but we had um 28 extra tickets after we got the thousand for the wind dog so we brought him we brought it back to him we're like thanks so much for like letting us use whatever what a nice guy tickets. yeah what a nice guy so he probably never see this but thanks so much just finished eating at our favorite restaurant it's called gourmet italia and we go there every year for our anniversary or um i we usually go there for like birthdays or valentine's day we've never gone on valentine's day because it's insane there on valentine's day but we like celebrate early and the i don't know if he's the owner or he's like He's either the owner or like a cousin or something, I don't know. But his name is Angelo. And he, every time we come in, he's so nice to us. Um, the owner's name is Alex and he's so, like he's also super, super nice. But Angelo, every time we come in, he's always like, oh, what, what anniversary is it now? What anniversary is it now? So today we celebrated our four year anniversary because we're gonna be in Hawaii. And every anniversary he brings, like he'll bring us out a dessert that says happy anniversary on it. So today he brought us out tiramisu and it was really nice and yeah they just make us feel really welcome and uh, it's they're really, very they're very personable that's the yeah thing about it. he he sat down and talked to us for like 15 minutes because he was talking to us about Hawaii and then he was saying that um, we were telling him how we went to New York together and he was going he's going to New York at the end of the month so he's asking us like what stuff to do because he's never been there before and so we were telling him and he was just sitting talking to us and it was really nice so now I have to go to work. Just dropped off Haley at work, back at home. Got a couple of the GoPro accessories. I think this is like the last of the stuff that I ordered for Hawaii. This is a remote. And then, you know how they have like the mounts for GoPros? So I ordered a bunch on Amazon and it's double adhesive. So you have to stick this part to the mount. It doesn't come already glued, so you have to do it yourself.
another delivery truck just came and they brought pretty much the last of everything that I'm getting for the GoPro and for the camera and stuff. I have like a selfie stick coming sometime tomorrow or the next day and that's gonna be it. So this is the scene lapse that's made by GoPro. It's basically like a glorified egg timer. You set the GoPro on top of it right there and you set it to however long you want. You set it to like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, I think maybe two hours. I don't know if there's a two hour mark. And it basically spins at the rate that you set it to and it just makes a really long time lapse. It's gonna be cool for Hawaii. Anti-fog inserts, good idea if you're gonna be swimming and everything just so you don't get any fog in the GoPro. It's always an issue with GoPros. I wasn't exactly sure which case to buy for all the GoPro stuff. So I bought the Casey case, wonder who that's named after. And then I bought this, it's not really open, I'll have to. This is the Casey case, and then this is the other case. I think it's just the Amazon basic thing. So, this comes with foam. You can probably take it, hopefully you can, t oh, you can't take it all the way out. That's unfortunate. Because I was planning on cutting my own foam and putting it in here. I guess I could un, peel it if I really wanted to, but I'm gonna figure out which one I wanna use before I make any cuts. Casey case, just comes with all these little dividers. Comes with this little bag too. They're both hard cases, so both gonna get the job done. I think they're pretty much the same lengthwise, but widthwise is where they differ. This one right here is about two and a half inches thick. This is closer to four inches thick. At least that's what the dimensions are online. I guess I'll just know which one I'm gonna go with when I actually start putting everything in, seeing how everything fits. Well, it's been a few hours. I've been messing around with the GoPro stuff, just trying to make everything fit, try to see which case is gonna be better. Here's all the stuff right here. I think I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to kind of figure out which one I'm gonna go with, just because I need to see if I can fit that the selfie stick thing that comes tomorrow. I'm gonna go get Haley from work pretty quick here. I'll see you then. Haley's back. I'm back. I'm exhausted, but I'm back. <laughs> and she's hungry. And I'm starving, so we had some leftovers from lunch. So I'm eating it. I'm so excited because I've been thinking about it for about five hours standing at work. <laughs> So that's gonna be it for the vlog today, guys. We hope you enjoyed watching our little anniversary video. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.